Now a reminder, if you plan to rely on Interstate 44 this weekend, you're looking live in the Sunset Hills area. All lanes of 44 are closed there, so crews can work on the Watson Road Bridge. You can see crews diverting eastbound drivers at Watson. The lanes are expected to reopen before Monday morning's commute. A church in North County is still demanding answers after their New York landlord threatened to kick them out. That church is located inside the St. Louis Outlet Mall in Hazelwood. Investigative reporter Chris Nagus is finding out more about the company that owns the mall. Most of the storefronts are vacant, but in 2017, Hope Church found a home inside the St. Louis Outlet Mall. Earlier this month, they got a notice their lease was being terminated. What would you like to hear from this ownership group? What's going on? What is going on? We have no information. They received a lease termination. For the second day in a row, my calls to Namdar Realty in New York went unreturned. Today, the city of Hazelwood told me they had no foreknowledge that such notices were being delivered. The city calls it a private matter between the owners as landlord and their tenants. In 2017, Hope Church signed a 15 year lease and invested nearly a million dollars to upgrade its facility. At the very least, Pastor Greg feels like he's owed a phone call. All we have is a letter that's saying they had a, they're having difficult times and want us out in 30 days. That's it. There's no detailed reason why. There's no what they can do or how can we negotiate. How do you negotiate or get answers if they won't even answer your phone calls? Namdar Realty owns about 100 malls nationwide, as shown on this map in a Reuters article. Namdar is known for buying distressed malls. In Florida, it was sued for allegedly failing to maintain a mall and was labeled a, quote, slumlord in the lawsuit. Namdar is one of the country's top 20 mall landlords, thanks in part to an aggressive low investment business strategy. Energy time. Pastor Greg can see it. He says volunteers and church members often maintain the common spaces around their church. Namdar's communication strategy with tenants seems to echo the hallways of this once busy shopping mall. Desolate, quiet. There's no response to anything. There's a push to transform the St. Louis Outlet Mall into a youth sports complex. I've asked the city of Hazelwood how much public subsidy would be offered. They don't have a number at this point. Hope Church isn't opposed to progress. In fact, they would like to be a part of that youth complex. But for now, they continue to fight. They have lawyers working on their behalf. Of course, we will stay on top of this story as well. Chris Nagus, News 4 Investigates.